Spin Radio 1071, the Valley's alternative. Judah on the line, make some noise. Ooh, ooh. Some of us alive, we're all gonna die one day. Some of us surviving, some of us just rolling, some of us just hoping. The world would be more slow. Some of us alive, we're all gonna die one day. Some of us surviving. I know to what is right, fight for the truth. Say something that it means something to you. Invest in the love, live it your best. Follow what's in the left side of your chest. Be ready for highs, be ready for lows. Dream is a dream until you go. Through the mistakes you'll find who you are. Don't reach for the moon when you go into Mars. You go into Mars. Cause we, we can do anything. Wanting more than just 
Sing along, singing along with a banjo. But I take it all, take it all, take it all back. I take it all back just to have you. And I take it all, take it all, take it all back. I took it all back just to have you. One day we might. 
might have a big house with nice cars and fancy clothes and a wife with a big old diamond ring. Cause the people, they're dancing along, they're dancing along to the mandolin and some sort of hip hop beat. I took it all, took it all, took it all back I took it all back just to have you And I took it all, took it all, took it all back, back took it all back just to have you I'm waking up 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 Take it all back just to have you. And I took it all back, take it all back, take it all back. I take it all back just to have you. Give it up for Judah and the Lion, everybody. Yeah. How awesome was that? Absolutely fantastic. Before we get into anything, I want to let you know, last night I was at the show at the Sherman, and you guys sang Suit and Jacket, and you kind of did a, a spiel like you just did right now, but it's important. And I was with my sister last night, and I actually teared up. <laughs> it made me, I actually cried at a concert because of you. You know what happened? <laughs> That's embarrassing. But no, that, uh, oh, we got a hug. <laughs> That song is such a good song, and it, you know, and just to hear you kind of relate to it and, and tell everybody your story and how it all came together, it's, that, those are the kinds of things you get when you come to one of our spin sessions. You get to hear the, the nitty-gritty behind the music and stuff like that. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. So we got some questions I know we got uh, from the yeah. audience. Well, I'm going to feel like a copycat because you made me tear up during going to Mars <laughs> and the things that you said before that. So, you know, anyway. Is everybody um, good? We're, we're all good? <laughs> <laughs> we all need help. At least, anyway, me, me uh, let's, let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I got a question from Amy. Uh, she's in Catasauqua. She says, uh, hey, Amy, where, and there you are. You want to stand out? Right up front. Yeah, there's Amy. Okay. <laughs> Who has been your favorite band to tour with? <coughs> I mean. We probably all have different answers. Yeah, um, that's fine. I think for me, uh, the 21 Pilots tour was. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was like a tour where it's just like somehow their fan base, like, really grabbed on to what we were doing um and I, I think i was like transparently i was pretty scared going on that tour because um their fan base if you know anything about their fan base they're like loyal to the bone like they're obsessed with tyler and that's josh that's why they call them the skeleton <laughs> click yeah and so that's really exciting but it's also like why are they going to give a crap about like what we do we have like a banjo or we're different than they are um but in a lot of ways like kind of relate to them live because they they put on such like an energetic like live show and that's what we try to do as well um so they're i was blown away by their fan base their fan base just kind of caught on to us i don't know if you guys want to answer too uh yeah um one of my favorite tours we did was the tour we did early on with matt carney um he just kind of mentored us in a way it was our first like tour across the country and um yeah we just like we just really got along with him and like looked up to him in a big way early in our career. Yeah, and I think I would say uh, John Bellion um, on the 21 Pilots tour. Uh, 
he's one of those guys that I listened to his music, but I didn't really know what he looked like and didn't know a ton about him. And uh, I saw this guy walking around. Um, I thought he was their merch guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, partially because he was wearing his merch. <laughs> and I was like, this is a little weird. Okay. But he was like the nicest guy. He came up to me before he knew anyone. He was like, hey, man, I'm John. And I was like, I'm Nate. Good to meet you. First day. I was like, yeah, man, really glad to be on this tour. Uh, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be like rock and roll summer camp kind of thing. We're just going to have a good time. <laughs> and uh, it's like, that guy was really friendly. <laughs> His name is John. Cool. <laughs> um, and then later we were on stage kind of rehearsing for, uh, we did kind of a mashup with all of them during the show. And um, on walks John and like gives Tyler a hug. I'm like, that's, that's oh, John. Yeah, so you put two and two together um, like, oh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, but I, I think really what I'm getting at is getting to know him more through the tour. It was like this guy that um, he just had that spirit the entire time. It's like, I don't have a head on my shoulders. I'm just happy to be here. I'm going to love on you hard. And um, after that tour, he was uh, my closest friend that I walked away with. And so I was just really grateful for Someone that I felt like had the right to be entitled and maybe a little, I mean, I don't feel like anyone ever has the right to be entitled and rude, but um, if there was someone, I thought he might be that way. And uh, he was the complete opposite and the most humble person I've ever seen in this industry. And so I'm very thankful for him and it was great to learn from him. So, Honestly, I mean, like, you guys were pretty freaking humble too. Like I remember meeting you last year and you just like, oh yeah, we just, you know, do our thing. We put our music out and like, <laughs> I feel like most of the spin sessions that we do, we meet these artists and we really do get to know them on a, on a more intimate basis. And they, um, they do kind of, you know, um, I don't know. I've never, I've never, I've never had a bad experience at one of our sessions, uh, meeting an artist. And, uh, in fact, I think I like them each, uh, like even more. Each time we Absolutely. do it, so, yeah. Especially last year during that show. Who was at the 21 Pilots and Judah show last year? There are a lot of people here. Uh, what I loved is after your set last year, you went out and just into the, cr the crowd, like, in one of the levels, and were like, hey, we're going to be over here if you want to say hi or give me a hug or, you know, anything like that. So that's really awesome when a, an, yeah. you know, an artist in a group can do that kind of thing. It's yeah, that's awesome. Nice yeah, and I humbling. got a selfie with you afterwards. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, cool. That's that, that feels cool, Judah. And <laughs> me. Anyway, uh, so we've got another question. It's about tour life also. Uh, you, you were saying last night, I think you do like, what, 300 uh, shows a year or something lately? So what do you do with the little free time you have on tour? And this is from uh, Renee and William, both in uh, Whitehall. Renee and William, where Renee are you? Stand William up and say hi. There, there you go, right up front here. Yeah. Hey. All right. Uh, I don't know if it's like free time at home or free time on tour, but free time on tour, we, um, we always try to find like a, the local coffee shop. Anything that kind of keeps you in a rhythm is... Um, is something that's helpful for me at least is it feels like you're not living like in a tour bus or in a hotel room it makes you feel like that you're actually like a human being um so like finding like a local coffee shop um that's close by like we went to uh cafe duet yesterday in stroudsburg uh, that was just kind of like this homey coffee shop um and then we all try to e we'll either do dinner together try to find like a local nice dinner spot um, before the show. Um, and then usually like after the show, we're like playing like Rocket League um, or like a, a video game of choice and just kind of hanging out, um, kind of winding down uh, before we go to sleep. Uh, but as far as home goes, we probably have different answers for this. Uh, I try to spend a lot of time with my wife, obviously, um, being gone as much as we are. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do is um, spend time with her and then um, friends, and then, uh, yeah, kind of let, like, go, go to our home spots in, in Nashville that we have. You, you want to answer? Cause yeah, I mean, pretty similar to, <coughs> I think, just, like, spending time with the community while we are home um, is really important to all of us, and um, also on the road, just being active, like, trying to work out or hike or, we, it seems like at the beginning of the tour, we're, like, good at that, and then by the end, we're like eating Cheetos and like playing video games yeah. more, but <laughs> nothing wrong with that. We're sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <You're> <laughs> <laughs> Nate usually like tries to find a mountain, like when we're when we're off. I it feel like it, it makes sense. He looks He's from like Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it fits your it fits your your persona. <laughs> All right, so he just called question. you a mountain man, by the way. <laughs> Mountain men are cool. There's no, a whole cool. show on Discovery <laughs> Channel about it. Have you ever seen it? It's awesome. Anyway, let's just get back kidding, to just There's kidding. also another TV show that Nate stars in. I'll right. let you guess which one it is. Okay. 
All right, I just remember this. Last time we were here, there was a, a guy that we had like a beard connection. Uh, is he here again? No. Cool. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was because we got talking about Duck Dynasty, and then there was like a moment where everyone in the crowd stood up with a beard, and then we all had this like. That was yeah. me last year. I just my beard was way shorter. <laughs> uh, beard Bros Unite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make a weird moment. <laughs> glad glad you're here. <laughs> glad you're here. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, um, another question about going on tour and everything. What is your, uh, this is from Lisa in East Stroudsburg. What is your favorite venue to play at? Bless you. And I'm sure you all have separate answers for this. Yeah, we got to see like a lot of different cities and venues and everything. Um, one of our favorites is the Tabernacle in Atlanta. It's, um, it's a venue that we've opened at a couple times and for some reason we just like, we love it. Um, we have like a good fan base in that area and um we're gonna get to headline it in april which is we're super excited about very cool so yeah yeah it's like a full pit which is what we love kind of like last night if you were there it's just like does everybody know is that like a music term everybody knows when i say pit right yeah. okay yeah I, I can't ever tell them just like oh they're a pit it's like what are you talking about <laughs> um yeah full full like on like people probably like a thousand people standing but then you have like 2500 more people that are like on the balcony and then like there's a triple decker yeah. so you're like kind of just surrounded by people and so far from the stage it's really cool i think mine mine is uh this venue in stockholm called mosebeke um i think that's how you pronounce it and um it's kind of like this venue that's outside and it's like overlooking the city um and it's just like beautiful i mean if you've ever been to stockholm or um know anything about stockholm it's just like getting this kind of view the city um is really really cool and nate um, we got to headline in Boston the other day in kind of a similar venue um, style as a tabernacle, but House of Blues Boston right across the street from Fenway. And uh, it was one of those that we'd opened at a bunch and had always dreamed of maybe headlining there. And it's it's weird to say that on Saturday we almost sold it out and had an amazing time. And um, it's just uh, we're all huge fans of Boston in general. Um, I'm a particular big fan of Boston. But... Um, <coughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hope I'm not upsetting anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Uh, but it was, it was a great time. It was just one of those kind of hard to believe it happened and great crowd and celebrated a lot. So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, hey, thanks again for coming out here and uh, doing this awesome spin session. I was so going to say, this is their second year in a row. Like yeah. You are our first in 2017. You're yep. our second in 2018. Yeah. So hopefully uh, around yeah, here next year. Yeah. All right, hopefully. We'll keep yeah. our fingers crossed. Maybe if we get to do, you know, a lot of radio stations do, like, these shows and stuff where they try to get a bunch of bands to come. Maybe we can do something like that with Judah. Would you guys go to that? Hell yeah. Yeah? All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, Everybody, please give a Lehigh again. Valley round of applause to Judah, Judah and the line. This guys. is so awesome. Woo! Thank you so much.